All right, welcome. Today we're gonna to be making some arches. We're gonna use some on some interior designs and some on some exterior designs. But I thought I'd show you the process on how I cut them with a bandsaw. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with my bigger sheet of pink foam. You can do this with a two inch. You can do this with any size you want or any size that you have. The pink foam I get is, is one inch thick. First thing I'm going to do is just get it into a work square, maybe eight inches, depending on the size of your arches you can, you want. You can go as big as you can get your bandsaw to cut, or your table with your center point that your table is able to cut. Um, with cutting the arches, your center point has to move on a parallel line to your blade, and that's real important. So as you go along, you want your blade to be parallel with your your pivot point and as you cut along that pivot point is going to come closer and closer to the blade as you come along what I'll do is each time is I'll put this my little uh, miter gauge into my saw and I'll hold it in place as I move to my next cut then I'll remove the miter gauge and reclamp my board back down I have my eight inch by eight inch square roughly. I think it's eight and a half by eight and a half square. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get as close to the center as I can. The closer you are, the better. We have our square here. It's about eight and three eighths by eight and a half. We're just basically gonna measure uh, corner to corner you can kind of see the lines I drew so there's the center point here's my channel that I'm gonna cut with the saw real quick I haven't put my center point in yet Make sure it'll clear your blade and as you come forward. Now if you have a hot wire cutter, same concept, but with your hot wire cutter you can burn in, start your turn. With the bandsaw you have to do it just a little bit differently. The reason I didn't poke a hole yet is, is I just want to poke it once. I have everything set up that way when I set it down it's uh good to go I have no fancy way of doing this it's just a board that I clamped to the table that has a pivot point right in the center take your time lining up with your pivot point First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in just a little bit. You're going to make sure you're lined up center on your blade. Now I want some extra when I cut this. This way I can cut this, resaw these little sections and actually use them as bricks and then have the keystone part sticking out a little bit. It could be the top of doors. Cause you just you know shrink this down a little bit the same way you can make your doors exactly the same way. That pivot point looks pretty good. I'm just gonna double check. for the 
first part of the arch. Keeping everything still as I put my guide in. When my guide's in, I remove the back pipe. Come forward. Keep my finger. Let's just do a whole bunch of small cuts so you can see how nice this cuts. Arches, 